Good evening, afternoon, or whatever time it is for you. This is Nax, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bone meal based nano sugarcane farm. So let's get into it. Keep in mind that you can modify this farm for bamboo usage, and it's really simple. So basically, you know how there's this water lock stair there, and that's in order for the sugarcane to be able to be there. So in case you're using bamboo, you can just um, leave out that part. And there we go. And then just put bamboo there and you're good to go. If we take some bone meal and put it in there, it starts firing and it does so just well. And yeah, it will all be collected down here just as well. So yeah, that's the easy modification. Alright, so first I am going to show you how this works. So it's pretty simple. Basically, you just put bone meal in there. So let's put half a stack of bone meal in there. And as you can see, it starts rapidly firing the dropper, well, the dispenser, and then instantly breaking the sugarcane. And as you can see, it's observerless, so it's pretty cheap, and you can do it early game. And then all the drops will be co collected from a, a hopper minecart inside that grass block and it will all end up down here. And as you can see, you get exactly twice the amount of bone meal you put in. So we put in 32 bone meal and we got a stack of sugar cane. Alright, so for this build, these are the materials you are going to need. Um, for the building blocks, just take a stack, that should be enough. And it depends how many you need, whether you're going to build it inside the ground or completely above ground, so yeah. And you need two temporary block, temporary rails, I mean, uh, you need temporary blocks too, in order to place the hopper minecart inside the grass block. As for how compact this form is, it's really compact. It's 6 times 3 times 6, so that's pretty compact, and you can note the dimensions here, and keep in mind that you can build this, like, in the ground, so with the bottom half in the ground, and yeah. Alright, so let's get started, shall we? So, first off, you can place your barrel here. After that, you place your hopper facing into that barrel, then you place a temporary block on top of the hopper, then you can place your stair here, you can remove that block, put uh, three blocks around that stair, then what you can do is put another block here, add another block here, then put your grass block here, and what you want to do now is take your two temporary rails and place them like this. When you've done that, you can place your hopper minecart on top of there and give it a gentle nudge, and voila, it's inside the grass block. What you want to do next is water lock the stair, and this is very important in order for, you know, the sugar cane to stay. Next up, you wanna place your dispenser. You place it right on top of that water locked stair, and it's pretty easy, so yeah. Then what you want to do is extend the back side of this to be 3 times 3. This is for your comparative, um, this is for your uh, hop dropper clock to go. And speaking of that, it's pretty simple, so just put a comparator here, reading from that dispenser, put a repeater here, another one here, then put a solid block here, and put a torch here, then put your redstone dust like this, that's what the circuit looks like, and then what you want to do is place a piston here, it will extend, and that's normal, that's how it should be. What you can do now is place your sugar cane here. Next up, you want to place your stair here. Then, just get your hoppers and put them like this. Get your second barrel, put it here. Then you can get your three glass blocks, one, two, three. And now what you want to do 
is basically just uh, fill out the rest of that little chamber where the sugar cane grows. So just like this. And there needs to be a space above so it can, so it can grow too tall. And then just take your nine slabs and cover off the top. And that is it. You have your really fast and efficient shuriken farm. Let's take a look if this farm works, shall we? So first off, one thing I want to mention. There is the possibility for the sugarcane to glitch out of the glass and come flying right through here. But that can be easily fixed by replacing this with solid blocks. And of course you won't see it in action, which is kind of sad because it's fast. I'm just going to put the glass back here. So for, you know, so you can actually see what's happening. But once you build this in your own world, I highly recommend to put solid blocks here so that it doesn't come flying out and it all ends up down here. So let's try out if it works, shall we? Let's put half a stack of bow meal in there. And as you can see, it starts firing and it starts firing pretty fast. And now you can check out the circuit. Basically, every time uh, a piece of bow meal enters the dispenser, it will give the comparator an output which will then subsequently fire the dispenser and also, thanks to the torch, retract the piston. But once uh, the signal is gone again, the piston will, you know, it will extend again and it will break the shuriking. And so on and so forth until all of the bone mills used up and it will all end up in here, except for this one piece of sugarcane that just fell in there. And uh, yeah, that's what you want to place the solid blocks for. Keep in mind that I have a full materials list in the description, in case you didn't watch it before. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So keep in mind that you can build this at ground level. There's no restriction on where you can put it, except maybe underwater. I don't think you can put it underwater. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for my nano sugarcane observerless um sugarcane farm design and um i hope you're gonna have a fantastic day uh, i hope you get a ton of views out of this and yeah keep in mind you can build this early game so that's pretty good and uh this is next signing out from terra tech and i hope to have you here soon again and goodbye <laughs>